y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video, just as the title of this video says, we are doing some spring cleaning. I am in great need of a just day, no, a just week, but I will settle for a day, rather half a day, the half a day that I have and go from there. sports car unnecessary doing something today is better than doing nothing because we're too overwhelmed or we can't get it all done in one day so I'm gonna get as much cleaning done as I can today and I'm gonna take you guys along with me also our air conditioning is out uh, we noticed it a couple weeks ago when it started to warm out and they still haven't fixed it so some of my windows are open to try and create some airflow but it is quite warm in my apartment unfortunately but we're gonna press on because we have things to do and we're not gonna let the heat stop us it's 81 degrees outside and because of the breeze it feels nicer outside than inside but we're just gonna we're gonna deal with it the fan is going this window is open and I'm gonna try and create as much airflow as I can. Unfortunately, we can't open all of our windows. Like, I can't open this really big one right here because, here, let's see if I can show you. Because the birds use our netting as netting for their nests. So they've kind of torn apart. Thank you, Cara. It made it a little easier to see. They've kind of torn apart our uh, netting and we're still waiting for them to fix that. So yeah, we have the windows open that we can have open and we're just making do. At least it's not the middle of summer. At least it's nice out. And they're also supposed to be coming by to give us a window unit for the bedroom at some point today, so maintenance has been in and out of our apartment all day today already. <sighs> all right, I've been procrastinating enough. Let's just get to it. Let's just get to the clean. For a while now, I've been really hard on myself, feeling bad that I can't keep up with my weekly reset. I feel like I'm constantly falling further and further behind, struggling to keep up and catch my breath. My boyfriend did the laundry and we're so grateful, but he thought all of this was hanging and it's not, it's full. So we're gonna fold those real quick. Also, this pile of like blankets was just sitting in the corner and I don't know why. And I just asked my boyfriend and he said they need to get washed. So we're going to run a load of laundry and wash the bathroom mat while we're at it. Actually, before I run this load, I'm going to run around the house and see if there's anything else that needs to be washed. Ever since we got this mirror, I've been doing my makeup at it. All of my makeup is just like down there on the floor and it's kind of getting messy and I've gotten more makeup so it's overflowing in the boxes that I already put it in. So I'm gonna try and do some organizing with some new boxes. If y'all have Apple products, like save the old boxes because they make such good organizing boxes. Or 
any kind of good quality boxes, but I find like the Apple boxes are really nice for this. When I lived alone in a studio apartment, every week I would meal prep and clean the whole apartment in one day. I don't mean deep clean, but I would wipe down all the surfaces, dust, wipe down the bathroom, sweep, mop, and it only took me one hour. That's right, one hour to fully clean my tiny studio apartment. There was never much clutter to pick up. I was very good at putting everything back in its place every night. But here's the thing. I lived a completely different life than I do now. Moving in with my partner, going from having so little things to triple, if not quadruple or more, the amount, and five times the space I once lived in alone. That's a pile of my boyfriend's clothes that was on the floor. I don't know if it's clean or dirty, so I left it on his side of the bed to deal with later. I'm already getting really toasty. It's so warm in here, but we're gonna press on. I still believe in minimalist principles but it's hard to practice when the person you live with does not. And that's not even quite true. He does believe in a lot of the same principles, but he has a much harder time practicing them. I can't just decide where things live on my own or decide to get rid of things on my own. There's another person here who has a say. So we don't actually have anywhere to store our Christmas tree, so it's just been chilling against the wall over here, acting like another table. Yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do. Five times the space and stuff means five times as long to clean. Well, not really, but that's what it feels like. We moved into this apartment right before quarantine hit. And that has meant we are home more than ever. More time home to make more messes.
yes, there's another person here to help me clean. And he does. Yet, I still feel like it should all be on me. Why is that? Finding time when we are both available to tackle the house is not the easiest. And I feel like I'm the one with this high standard, so I should be able to keep up with it on my own. Oh my goodness, I'm actually going to be able to sleep tonight. They finally put in a little AC unit in our bedroom. Thank God. <coughs> I've stirred up so much dust today, I can't breathe. I add cleaning into my calendar every week with every intention of doing it. But when the time comes, I always end up saying, I'm too tired, or I worked late and now I don't have time. Never enough time to finish my to-do list. I procrastinate in the morning and run out of time for all the things on my list every day. I am a creature of habit and I don't have a solid routine. Not for lack of planning. I love planning. But when it comes to execution, I've been struggling. This is new for me. I haven't always struggled with procrastination. But when my environment changed, I changed with it. In ways that I don't necessarily like. But I'm trying to fix it. And I'm going to keep trying because I know I can do it. So whether you're struggling with procrastination or building a solid just day routine or even just doing the dishes piling up in your sink right now, keep trying. You will get there. I believe in you.
Okay, well that was really weird. One of the little packets was just sitting on top of the blanket like halfway dissolved, so I have to run it again. So, laundry's not done yet. All right, to mopping. We are almost done, we are almost done. that I use on the rest of the house on the floor with this thing and bada bing bada boom done let's do it so I just realized I've been cleaning with y'all all day with this yellow spray bottle and I haven't told y'all what's inside of it so this is just a mixture of half water and half lemon and orange infused vinegar I took orange peel and lemon wedges and put them in a jar filled it up with vinegar let that sit for at least two weeks and then mixed it with water that way you get rid of some of that vinegary smell it smells more like citrus so that's how I make my own citrus cleaner and I think y'all saw for the toilets, I just use baking soda and vinegar and let that fizz up. And that's how I do that. I did spray a little bit of bleach in my bathtub though, just because there is hair dye all over it. much more that I could do like I said we need to clean the baseboards we need to do some like deep cleaning things but honestly I'm exhausted it's 7 p.m. and I'm hungry so I think we did enough for today we did all of the basic cleaning wiped down all the surfaces wiped down all the window ledges put everything away organize some things there are definitely some drawers that I want to reorganize at some point, but that's not today. Again, sweeped and mopped, and the reason that we are not vacuuming is, is, is this guy. That guy over there, who is currently broken right now, but we're going to take him to get fixed. But he does the vacuuming. I still want to have time to do my nails tonight. This is I just got this nail kit today, so I'm really excited to try and do my nails. That's going to be another video. I think that's going to be the video right after this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was some good inspiration to get a gist day, a spring cleaning day in. It honestly feels so nice having the apartment clean, or at least mostly clean. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.